Good morning, everyone, and Karibu again to the community in Arusha, Tanzania. This week's parasha is Parashat Emor, and in Parashat Emor, the Torah tells us about the mitzvah of Sfirat Omer. So that is the mitzvah that we are currently dealing with right now, which the Torah tells us that we count seven weeks, and in those seven weeks, we're counting between Pesach and Shavuot. We are preparing from when we left Egypt to the mitzvah of receiving the Torah, the Ma'amad Har Sinai. So we have a few things that we'll talk about that are, have to do with also the mitzvah itself, practical, and also some customs and ideas that come with it. So first of all, the mitzvah is we count seven days seven times. So when we, we make a blessing every night from the beginning, we say, Baruch atah Hashem elokeinu melech haolam asher kedishanu mimustav etzivanu al sfirat haomer. And then after we bless on sfirat haomer, we say, Hayom yom echad laomer. Today is the first day of the omer. Or when we get further on, today for example is 27 days, so we say, Hayom shiv'a ve'esrim yom. Today is 7 and 20 days. That they are all together three weeks and six days to the Omer. And that's how we count. We count them also the days, also the weeks. Now, if you miss one, if you miss saying it at night, which is when the mitzvah is, you say it during the day without a blessing. If you missed a whole day, which means you forgot to say it at night, and then you also forgot to say it during the day, then from that point on, you only say the amount of days that it is without saying the blessing. So if that's where you're at now, you keep on counting. So today is 27 days, that's three weeks and six days. And tomorrow or tonight, you'll say today is 28 days, that is four weeks. And you continue till we get to Shavuot. We have other customs that have to do with Avelut, and we'll talk about it a bit when we get to Lag Baomer. But what we're talking about today is a custom that came up talking about what is this preparation for. So we're preparing for receiving the Torah. And in our process of preparing for receiving the Torah, we say, Derech Eretz Kadmala Torah, the way of the land, or being a mensch, a good person, comes before learning Torah. So there's a custom that started to learn Pirkei Avot, Pirkei Avot is a Mishnah that was, talks about real, real values and how to live a life. And they say this comes before learning Torah. And we learn it each Shabbat between, after Mincha, between Pesach to Shavuot. Some people also continue further on. So I want to read the Mishnah from this week that is now the fourth week. The Mishnah is Perek Dalet, the fourth Perek. Ben Zoma Omer, Ezeu Chacham Halamed Mikol Adam. Ben Zoma was a great rabbi and he wrote, he said, who is a wise man? A person who learns from everyone. Don't ever think that you finished learning. And Ezehu Gibo, who is brave? Hakovesh who is a brave person, not someone who's running into battle head first, but someone who knows how to control his desires. Ezehu Ashir, who is a wealthy man. Hasamech Bechelko. You can have all the money in the world and always want more, and we've talked about this in the past. So what makes a person wealthy? Being happy with what you have. Eze Mechubad, who is a respected person, HaMechabedet Abriyat, the person who, who respects others. All of these things, specifically in this Mishnah, which is a wonderful Mishnah to learn, talks about what makes a person great? And what is what do people think? And how do we actually act? And in these days between Pesach and Shavuot, when we're preparing for Matan Torah, let's remember to be menschlich. Shabbat Shalom.